Hi! Have you ever wondered what it's like to be working towards your Bachelor's of Health Sciences degree and to be spending your first year in an English castle? Well, I'm here to show you. Hi, my name is Hanshu. I'm a first year student at Queen's University and I am studying health sciences. Um, today, I will be taking you through a typical Monday in my life. I'll give you tips and tricks in terms of post-secondary applications and academics and showing you why I'm proud to be a part of the Queen's community. This semester, I am taking CAN 112, Psych 100, um, Glyph 171, which is our Social Determinants of Health course, IDIS 173, History and Philosophy of Health and Healthcare, and HSI 190, which is Statistics for Health Sciences. Um, Glyph, IDIS, and HSI are our core courses, meaning that it is um, mandatory for all health sciences students. And next semester for our core courses, I am especially excited for our pharmacology and anatomy classes, which also includes um, a cadaver lab, which I feel like it's very unique. So as you can tell, I'm starting the day from my dorm room and I typically like to spend a few minutes um, tidying up and packing my bag for a full day at the castle. Um, I find that by having some form of routine and change of environment, I tend to focus better and work more efficiently. So I'm gonna just get started with my day and see you guys very soon. So currently it's half past noon and I'm walking to the castle right now to get some food, study a bit before going to my first class of the day, which is Glyph or Social Determinants of Health. I had a slower start to my day today because of my first class starting at two and spending the weekend traveling and early hours of the morning last night studying. Um, I'm really excited to be showing you guys around the castle today. I will be showing you um, our dining hall, giving you a little ground tour of my favorite places to go in between classes, my favorite places to study, and of course, showing you around the classes today. Stay tuned. A few moments later, Phew, today was surely a hectic day and I couldn't feel much of it. So let us sit down and I'll do a little rewind of my day while inserting some clips here and there that I've gotten in between the moments of hecticness. So as you can see, I started my day by cleaning my room to really mentally reset and prepare for the day ahead of me. And I like to head to the castle a little earlier than I sh really should be to really revise my notes for my classes of the day. And if I have any assessments, really prioritize on revising those notes to really revise my notes for my... So the health sciences program, as you probably know, is built around the flipped learning approach. Um, it is where you learn most of the concept before class and apply the knowledge in class through discussions and group activities, which are sometimes marked. I find that I actually retain information better this way, which is why I do my reading and comprehension before classes as well for my standard arts and science faculty courses, standard arts and science, which are Chem 1-2 and Psychology 100. And this way I can really notice any gaps in my knowledge earlier and ask meaningful questions in class to increase my understanding. I love studying in the alumni room, library, and gardens at the castle, and I find that I actually study best in the evening hours, which is why I'm really grateful for my 2 p.m. classes on Monday and Tuesdays. So at the BISC, what really makes us unique are our ELOs, or Experimental Learning Opportunities. Um, you can kind of think of them as field trips in elementary or high school, and some upcoming ELOs we have are a castle grounds tour exploring the herbal medicinal properties of the plants we have in our castle gardens and the science museum in london on the topic of trips one of my favorite pastimes here is to travel especially since my schedule is arranged so i have a four-day week meaning it's long weekend every weekend um, given our proximity to the train station and the school provided mini buses to local destinations i tried to kind of um, plan a day trip every weekend with my friends when our academics allow. And some of our recent destinations includes Brighton, London, and seaside towns like Eastbourne. Academics, um, I really need to develop a solid study routine since academics are my top priority, especially as someone who is thinking of attending medical school or graduate school in the future. And what I love about the faculty of 
at Queens is really how student-centered they are. They really support me in finding the on-campus clubs and committees to be part of, both at the BISC and Kingston campus, and they encourage me to volunteer in my local community. Now, what have I learned from the month I've been in university? I learned to prioritize and how to effectively manage my time. I learned what it means to be an active listener and participate in class. And I felt a true passion for um, what I am studying. As you can tell, I f really feel at home at Queens Health Sciences and I really hope you consider applying. In terms of kind of like academics, the program is becoming more and more competitive each year despite it not having a graduate class yet. Um, if you're thinking of applying, aim for a top six average in the mid to high 90s or as high as possible. Um, and in terms of the supplementary application where um, in my year we had to answer two of the three provided prompts, um, really reflect on what makes you, you. Um, think outside of the box and what makes you unique as a person. For example, um, any issues you feel strongly about, any work you've done either in or outside of school that you're especially proud of, any unique hobbies or interests that really shaped you as a person. Um, Queen's Health Science is all about collaboration, self-discipline, and forward upstream thinking, where we kind of identify the problem in healthcare, for example, to really prevent it from overwhelming the hospitals. So really make sure you channel that in your written responses. I hope to see some of you around campus soon.